the last couple of things I want to talk about is uh, the parameters that we need to set, right? So we had uh, hystrix take a fallback uh, method. That's one of the several parameters that you can set. The parameters go into the hystrix command annotation, and it's going to look something like this. So where you have the fallback method, you can add a bunch more annotations, which go under the command properties uh, property. All right, so each property is an array. Uh, the command properties is an array. It's an array of hystrix property annotations. You notice all the things that we have said over here. All right, so let's let's examine this. So we've got the first one is execution, isolation, thread, timeout, and milliseconds. So this is basically the timeout that you configure. It's like you're saying, wait for this long, and if it doesn't happen, uh, cause the timeout. All right. The next parameter that you're seeing here is circuit breaker request volume threshold. I've set the value as five because that's the example that we were toying with. It's basically the number of requests that it needs to see. It's the threshold of the volume of requests that it needs to see. Look at the last n requests. Here it happens to be five. The next is the error threshold percentage. It's not the number of requests that are failed. It's the percentage of requests that are failed. I've put it as 50 over here. I'm not sure how it deals with, with an odd number, but uh, let's say this is six, in which case it's gonna be like six requests. I'm looking at the last six requests and 50% of them have to fail. So if three of the last six requests fail, the circuit is gonna break, all right? And then the final parameter that I have here is sleep window in milliseconds. It's basically how long the circuit breaker is gonna sleep before uh, it picks up again. And the value is five seconds, which is 5,000 milliseconds. So you see, I told you, it's, it's the concept is what's important. Once you've understood the concept, now that you know what all these things do, the syntax is fairly simple. You just look this up online. Nobody remembers this stuff. Just look it up online, just add it in there, right? So it's important for you to understand what these parameters do. And I'm hoping that now that you've covered uh, all, this, uh, all these materials with me, you now know exactly what this does. Now the Next challenge where I cannot help you is to figure out what the values are for your particular use case. And again, there is a lot of material online uh, for people's experiences. And you can also look at academic literature to figure out how you can get to that number for your particular use case.